that this drone program has gotten every Republican so spun up. What are we up to here? And I think McCain actually makes a good point there. Rand Paul, by raising the specter of Americans sitting in cafes being struck down by U.S. drones, it, most people are not concerned about that. It seems crazy. It seems fringe. And in that way, while Rand Paul did spark this debate, and obviously if you were on Twitter last night, you know people were very fired up, and you have to have some admiration for anything that unites Code Pink and Glenn Beck. But, you know, outside of the people who were already with him, I don't think that he did a lot of convincing. Uh, and in fact, I think he made what is a very serious conversation seem sort of absurd, a bit crazy, and on the fringe. So to that extent, I don't think he really accomplished his goal. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting you say that because, you know, this ideological divide in America, and when you listen to the savages and some of the other people like that in the world, you don't really need any sort of intellectual weight. You could just say, the president belongs in jail, and they'll go, yes, that's true. Or the president, you know, causes a, causes a, a you know, threat to us from drones when we're sitting in cafes. Yes, he does, even though McCain and Graham come out and say, no, they don't. But you know what? Now, tonight, all Americans who are not at war with America can rest easy that they won't be droned on American soil. So thank you very much, Senator Paul, for getting that cleared up.